Hello and greetings from Person Tylers. This is Mayank Raj Singh presenting the video number 47 of 100 CAT LRDI challenge for CAT 2020. Smokers Jubity is the name of the set and uh, the information is given in uh, two slides. This one and this one. Guys, before I move ahead, I want to tell you that if you wish to join our very active WhatsApp group in which you can witness the discussions on hundreds of questions on everyday basis apart from that there are endless articles questions exercises ebooks and other material to practice and prepare well for cat then please do join this set is one of the unique sets that i have posted so far in lrdi cat challenge uh, this is a set which is based on the best cases worst cases scenario the maximization minimization case before actually solving the questions on this set I would like to take a small example that is for the first time that I am doing that I am taking an example very different completely separate from the given set but not irrelevant okay so consider this question that suppose in a drawer there are 10 pairs of blue 10 pairs of black and 10 pairs of gray socks basically 20 blue 20 black and 20 gray socks although in the real question it was not mentioned but for your better understanding i'm telling you that there is no difference between the left foot sock and the right foot sock so practically as we do we we tend to forget that which sock did we wear in the left foot last last time and which one in the right foot and we tend to exchange them the next time we wear them so similar is the case over here so basically there are 20 blue socks all could be worn in one foot either the left or the right so in the case of 20 black and so in the case of 20 gray socks so there are total 60 socks now imagine that all these 60 socks in an unorganized way intermingled with each other they are just put randomly inside the drawer the moment we pulled the drawer out there was a blackout power cut blackout okay so now we cannot see anything we can just blindly take out one sock at a time so now my question finally is that if you are taking out one sock at a time without replacement after drawing out minimum how many socks cluelessly after drawing minimum of how many socks will you be sure okay just mark my words please you have to be sure by after drawing minimum number of socks you have to be sure that you have found a pair by a pair i mean two socks of the same color two socks of the same color they could be two blue or two black or two gray after drawing out a minimum of how many socks so both these uh, terms are very important so if you do not have to be sure then the answer to this question could be two because there are chances that the first two socks that you draw could be both blue or both black or both gray but you're not sure about it maybe first sock is blue and the second sock is gray you don't know that okay if it was not about minimum number of socks then the answer would have been 60 that after drawing out 60 socks you will be sure that now i have all the pairs leave alone one pair so that is why both these questions both these parts of the question make it a unique question of a type okay so you have to draw minimum socks but also you have to be sure we will take the worst possible cases for surety okay for certainty we will have to draw we will have to take the worst possible case in the case of possibility we could take the best possible case that like the first two socks could be of the same color but we have to be sure about it okay so we take the worst possible case so worst possible case so suppose the first sock is blue the best case would be that the second sock is also blue but now i have to take the worst possible case so let's say the second sock is gray the third sock could be blue or gray the moment you draw blue or gray sock the pair would be complete but i have to take the worst case so i'm taking the third sock could be black what about the fourth sock do you have a fourth color no will the fourth sock be either blue or gray or black yes so can we say that after drawing out the fourth sock my pair is complete now the fourth sock will be the blue one or the gray one or the black one so the fourth sock will definitely complete one pair which one i don't know but up to fourth sock you must have had one pair for sure it could have been in the second sock as well but you were not sure but at fourth sock i'm sure okay so if you understand this explanation you might want to pause the video right now 
think about what I have said once again, maybe rewind and see the entire thing again. Only if you understand this question, do you please try to go ahead. Otherwise, please do not skip this part. You will have a very, very difficult time dealing with the three questions of the present set that we have. So please do understand this part of the set very, very carefully and in its entirety by 100% of it. Now, uh, before moving ahead, I would just like to tell you that purely from this question's point of view, had there been 200 blue, 200 black and 200 gray socks, the answer would have still be 4. Had there been only 2, blo two blue, 2 black and 2 gray socks, the answer would have still be 4. Okay, so I hope I tried my best to make you feel easy with this question and now I'm going to the, the questions which are related to the set. So you must have read so these are the number of cigarettes in each packet and these are the number of packets. In all the cases, there is this word about surety and we have just seen that if we are just picking blindly, then for surety we have to take the worst possible cases. So the first question is find the minimum possible number of cigarettes that Marco must pick up from the bag in order to be sure of having picked at least one from each packet. You know that there are five brands and you know that there are uh, 13 packets, 13 packets, 120 cigarettes, okay? These are the number of cigarettes, 10, 12, 18, 8 and 6, okay? So 10 into 3 is 30 cigarettes of Marlboro, 24 of Rotman, so let me write the numbers here, 30 of Marlboro, 24 Rotman, 18 Camel, 24 Lucky and 24 Dunhill. So 24, 24, 24, 30 and 18 together make 120 cigarettes altogether and there are altogether 13 packets. All the questions are about the brands, the packets, the cigarettes. Okay, so the first question asks you that like in the question of socks, you have to pick up cigarettes blindly having no clue and you have to be sure that you have picked at least one cigarette from each packet. The most conveniently and the most fortunately what could happen is that the first 13 cigarettes that I draw could be all different from different pack packets. But that would be the best possible case. And that is too good to be true. Okay, so uh, we have to take the worst possible cases. Now what if the first 10 cigarettes that you drew out, that you picked, were all from the Marlboro first packet? And what if the next 10 cigarettes were also of Marlboro of the second packet? What if the third 10 cigarettes, the third, first, what, what if the first 30 cigarettes were all Marlboro? I know it is rare possibility, but still it's a possibility. That is still possible. So it is very much possible that the first 30 cigarettes that you draw are all of Marlboro. So you have drawn, you have picked 30 cigarettes and you have, you have only touched, you have only touched three packets. The remaining 10 packets are all remaining. So this way, I have to take the worst possible cases. Okay. So for the worst cases, uh, the minimum number of cigarettes that are present in any packet are six. Okay. This will give me my breakthrough in this question. So what if leaving the last six cigarettes and 114 cigarettes I have picked and 12 complete packets I have picked. It's a very, 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 very rare possibility, but, but still a possibility that I have picked out 114 cigarettes and yet one packet has been untouched. Okay. But now I'm sure that the moment I pick the next, that is the 115th cigarette, I'm sure that I will be touching the last packet also. So according to me, the answer to this question would be 115. Again, a lot of you might want to pause the video, think over it, be sure about the minimum maximum thing and then move ahead to the next question. In fact, I would like to tell you that a lot of people in this question that they are thinking on the correct lines, right lines and still they goof up in the last step and they end up answering 103. Even to admit before you, when I first saw this question, I also thought that the answer would be 103. That is because I thought that the maximum number of cigarettes are there in camel pack. So what if I leave the last 18 cigarettes and then I would think that uh, till 102, I have picked 12 packets. Now 103rd cigarette, the next cigarette would touch all the packets. So even at 103, I can be sure I have touched all the cigarettes, but then Later, I realized that 103 cannot be the answer because there was a possibility that at 103, 
so at 103 at 102 i am 18 cigarettes away from the full pack what if those 18 cigarettes belong to three packets of dunhill it was a possibility right that 18 cigarettes are left and 6 into 3 also makes 18 so there is a possibility that uh, three packets of dunhill are yet untouched so how would you know you you were picking out cigarettes without knowing anything cluelessly so if 18 cigarettes are left how can you be sure that it has to be only camel pack but if only last six cigarettes are left then the worst case is that they are they all belong to one packet of dunhill otherwise most probably by that time i have touched all the packets already so 115 would be the answer i hope i am making it clear so you may want to pause think over it and check again repeat again only if you are crystal clear move on to the next question i am moving on to the next question now second question find the minimum possible number of cigarettes that must marco must pick in order to be sure again we are asked the surety again we are asked the minimum having picked at least one from each brand one from each brand now we have to see which brand has the minimum number of cigarettes so we see that the camel is the brand which has minimum number of cigarettes i could have been like i know that there are 120 cigarettes okay i could have been like if i at 90 cigarettes i could be done with dunhill lucky camel and rotman and now the third the 100 sorry and now the 91st cigarette that i draw that i pick would be of marlboro but it is also a possibility that the last 30 cigarettes which are left could be all rotmans could be all lucky could be all dunhill could be all camel okay but if i leave out the last 18 cigarettes then i would be sure that lucky dunhill rotman and marlboro must have been touched because they had more than 18 cigarettes now if only 18 cigarettes in the end are left then i am sure that it could not be the case that rotman has not been touched or lucky has not been touched or dunhill has not been touched but it could be the case that camel has not been touched at 102 i was not sure but at 103 i am sure that every brand has been touched so answer to this question is 103 you can pause and after especially after understanding the first question really well you would not take much time understanding this question and now moving to the third question everything is same sure of having picked at least one full packet with original content before explaining to you my take on this question i would just like to tell you that uh, in my experience some people tend to take it really really practically and they think that now there are 30 cigarettes of marlboro they think that any 10 of these 30 cigarettes will make a packet but that is not the case the question demands that whichever cigarette belonged to whichever packet still it belongs to that packet you cannot make a packet on your own assumptions that these are 30 marlboro cigarettes i can pick any 10 cigarettes and make a packet that would not be the case okay so suppose the cigarettes are numbered in the first packet the cigarettes are numbered 1 to 10 in the second packet of marlboro the cigarettes are numbered 11 to 20 suppose they were numbered so if you pick cigarette number 13 and then 23 and then 3 you cannot make them in one pack i hope i am making sense okay so original content is the keyword over here i hope you understand this okay these are the kind of sets guys which have no calculation okay which have very small reasoning every time we are doing the same thing in every question but they attack on your psychology okay on in in daily on daily basis we do not tend to think this way okay so that makes this set actually difficult trappy so that you make mistakes okay so what would be the worst that i can do in this question so the first nine cigarettes could belong to could belong to marlboro one pack okay but the 10th cigarette may not belong to that same pack but to the other pack so what if i have taken out 27 cigarettes they all belong to marlboro but yet one complete packet has not been done okay so how many cigarettes do we have 120 how many packets do we have 4 3 1 2 3 13 13 packets okay so is that possible that 120 minus 13 is 107 that i am done with picking 107 cigarettes 
yet one complete packet has not been done has not been picked so i am purposely taking a very rare case in which one cigarette of each packet original has been left out and all the other cigarettes have been taken out this could be the worst possible scenario so 107 cigarettes down still there was a possibility that no packet original contents have been taken out as yet so I think the answer is clear over here 108 because at 107 was the worst case now the the next cigarette the 108th cigarette will make it 100% at least one packet done although the best possible case would have been the first six cigarettes belonging to all Dunhill first packet but that also is very rare and we are not sure but at this point we are 100% sure that at 108 cigarettes all the at least one complete packet has been done if not all so uh, I know guys and I empathize with you those people who still had a very hard time understanding this but you know is tarah ki thinking develop hone mein thoda vakt lagta hai you take some time to think at this level Okay, this is pakka level of thinking. Okay, so people who have just started, who have never thought this way, okay, uh, reasoning is completely a new thing for them. They could be having a very hard time. Still, I tried by means of language and examples to make it understandable for you. But uh, I think if you think about it, okay, you, you make many cases, whatever possible. So there could be a category of people who understand my stand on these questions but still they have doubts that there could be other possibilities so please do write down those possibilities to me you can also write down your doubts that are still persisting related to this set in the comment section and i'll try my best to uh, reply you all okay guys so um, that was an honest attempt from my side to make you understand this difficult piece of puzzle and uh, Thanks, for, thanks a lot for watching guys, uh, if you really want to appreciate my efforts then please do subscribe to our channel. To do so all you have to do is to click on the link which is shown on your screen right away. And uh, this is Minecraft Singh signing off, keep watching the space for more stuff to come. Prepare, persevere, perform. Take care.